Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back. Today is Tuesday. Um, today is Tuesday, April 22nd, 2019. And today, I'm going to the post office. I don't know if you guys can see there or not. But we're going to the post office. Got to pick up a package that uh, some of, some of uh, you guys sent me out there. You guys know who you are. You guys sent me a giant piece of wood in the mail. And uh, I can't wait to go get it. it. It took about a month to get here, but it got here. Even though they sent the wrong address, it got here, I think, I hope. So I'm literally on my way all the way to the center of the city. I gotta walk around 25 minutes, give or take. I was already walking a little bit to get there. Eh, about 20 minutes, I wanna say 20 minutes. And uh, we're gonna go get that wood. now. I was supposed to leave a little earlier. I wanted to leave like around 10 in the morning, but my mom's called and you already know how that is. So mom called and I was just talking to mom for a little while. Man, look at this. Is this available? Can I take this or is this like, nah, I don't think so. Okay, okay. <laughs> they're selling it, they're selling it. That should look cool, man. But anyways, so my mom called and so I was just talking to her for a little while. And by the time I realized, uh, by the time we hung up, I realized the time and it's literally, it's like 11 something in the a.m. right now. 11.15 and the sun is right on top of my head. So literally, absolutely zero shade while I take this trip. So I'm probably going to be sweating balls most likely. More than usual. But anyways, just letting you guys know. Someone out there was asking me how the heat was. It's hot. <laughs> but it's actually pretty okay. You know, the earlier you get up, the better. So... All right, so what we're going to do is that I'm going to be going, I'm going down to Pase Montejo so that way um, I can uh, walk under the trees and have some shade. You know, no matter what, there's, you know, trees always help with the shade. Little tip, <laughs> in case you guys didn't know. Um, <laughs> so that way it'll make the walk a little easier. And that's it. So, yeah, we're going to make our way. El Centro. So, you know, I guess this video, I don't even know what today's video is going to be about. Today's video is just going to be the adventure of me going to go get this package in the wood. Now, normally they would deliver it to my house. I've, I, I've accepted packages here before that you guys have sent me or family have sent me or whatever. The thing with this package is that, again, you know, I'm not trying to put anybody, uh, <laughs> I'm not trying to, what is it, like, uh, put anyone on the spot. But actually what happened was that, like, um, the person that sent it to me, well, first of all, what are they sending? What is this wood, you know? Well, we'll, we'll talk a little more in depth about exactly what it is. <clears throat> but, you know, uh, just to, I guess, make a long story long, what it really is is just, um, you know, we're playing like a uh, postal tag type of thing. It's uh, it's this piece of uh, piece of wood that originated somewhere in the States. I'm not quite sure. Maybe you guys can help me down there in the comments um, where and how it originated. But... It's just, it was just been sp been spread around all over the country, all over the U.S., all over the world. Um, and all the fans of, um, I guess, you know, the crypto stuff and a lot of the stuff that we're watching out here, um, we're, we've all been a part of it. I actually feel very honored, very humbled to also be a part of it. So, you know, that's why I'm doing my part. I'm going to, on my trek towards the center of the city to go get this. Um, I'm hoping to God that, it's, that it is here. I think it's here. I don't, I mean, from what they told me at the other post office, they said that this ain't the first time they do that. Now, look, let's see what's going on over there. <clears throat> it's like a long ass line of people to get in there. Yeah, I wonder what that's going on over there. I think it's like a government building. I'm not quite sure what's going on over there. But that's a good sign. That means that the post office is open. And so is the sun. God dang, it's hot. It's like right on top of my head, no shade. And I wore this shirt. Because, you know. You know you know how I live my life. Style over comfort. So that's what I'm doing. Look at this, man. No shade. What is going on here? Jesus. Anyways. So. I'm on my way to... Okay, so yeah, let's, so let's talk about the post office real quick. 
real quick. So, you know, here what's really cool from what I understand is that even as uh, you're sending something, oh, that looks cool. I don't know what it is. Whatever that was, looked pretty cool. Look, a horsey. <laughs> So, by the way, in case you guys are ever wondering, these, these mansions right here were built like five, six hundred years ago. Probably like five hundred years ago. Spanish built this shit. And, uh, yeah, it's like right in my neighborhood. It's where I live. All right. So, yeah, so let's just uh, talk about the Mexican post office. So, anyways, I was really... You know, when I told the post office that they forgot... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I've just been all over the place. I've already had a very long morning. Um, so, usually, like, in the States or in most places, whenever you you mail something and you forget, like, you know, like, the first main part of the address, you know, like, the, the most important part of the address, it's usually not around. It's usually, like, they take it over, you know, they, they return back to sender or it just gets lost. But from what I understand here is that no, you know, this happens a lot out here for whatever reason, and that they're gonna be they're keeping it at the post office, and I just gotta go and get it. So, well, that's what we're doing. Hoping to God we can get it. So they just told me I gotta just show up with my passport. So look, look at this, we got. <laughs> See, I'm not the only photographer out here. I'm not the only pro. I'm telling you. <laughs> I, I love seeing other people doing uh, what I do. It's really cool. Um, and here, just like in LA, you know, as you're just walking, doing your thing, you see tons of people with cameras. Uh, and uh, not, not everyone's a tourist. You know, a lot of people are just doing things like I do, you know, um, professional work. And you can see why, because like if, uh, again, just from everything I show you guys here on a daily basis, um, it's fucking beautiful out here, you know, for reals. If, um, if I had the right connections, I'd probably be doing like Hollywood scouting out here and shit like that, you know, for location, you know, location scouting. I don't know if you guys uh, know a little bit about that stuff. I used to know somebody in LA that does that location scouting stuff. And uh, yeah, she used to tell me that this this area, this area is actually like a big, uh, a big area for that stuff, you know? So that, uh, you know, kind of like Hollywood and, and all that stuff already kind of comes out here in order to to um, scout this area. So, ah, I should have gone down that street. Nah, whatever. I'm already going down this street. So, all right. So, we're just, you know, walking and talking today. Tuesday after Monday morning. <laughs> um, going to the post office, seeing how that goes. And uh, hopefully I get, I get to have the package. That'd be fucking awesome. that you know it came here um safe and sound yeah man oof it's just really hot a little hard to concentrate when you have like 100 degree heat on top of your head maybe i don't know if it's i don't know if the heat translates well but you know one, one of the good things is that it's windy the wind will translate there shout out to that guy that told me to get a wind sock or or not go out at all shout out to you bro look I'm going against your orders, bro. What are you going to do, huh? You're going gonna to leave another comment? You know what you could do? Send me a wind sock. So I can put it on my sock. Down, down here. This sock. <laughs> How's that for, for G-rated? <laughs> By the way, I have a fucking GoPro, man. What, what do you mean a fucking wind sock? By the way, I could have a wind sock for this little thing. But... I'm gonna leave it out there for you guys to see if you guys know how to put a windsock on this thing. I do. I'm just not gonna do it because, you know, it takes work. I'm not that fucking. <laughs> All right, I'm hoping I can go on the right way. I think I, I should check my phone a little bit. But I know the address up here, and I kind of already know the neighborhood a little bit. So we're just gonna play it by ear, okay? I well, hope you guys are enjoying the scenes. I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoy my walks and talks. I hope you guys enjoy, you know, getting to see all this awesomeness everywhere. You know, it's really cool because when I used to have just a little camera, by the way, I have that like a tripod now. I'm holding my like a tripod. So that's probably why it's a little better to see. 
but it's funny when uh when i used to just have the little camera it was you know um i think i'm gonna keep going a little further hold on let me check let me check the make sure i'm going the right way i think it's this way all right 54 so one more one more we gotta walk a little further so yeah like um when i used to walk with the smaller camera i guess most people didn't even know what the hell i was had in my hands but now that i got like a tripod and it's a little bigger like a little bulkier you know people can see me from a mile away and it's like a completely different reaction which i think is freaking hilarious you know one of the things that i love about um walking around with a camera is is exactly that you know what i mean the fact that i get to I, I get to cause so many reactions from the people as i walk around with the camera and depending on the camera i walk around with and where i point that camera depends very much on how people react to it man it seems like it's really windy huh well i'm just gonna keep filming because sometimes i think it's really windy and you guys can't hear me and then I've come back and it's, you know, you guys can hear me, you know, the, it, it comes out just fine. Other times I don't even notice any wind and you guys can't hear shit. So it's just, you know, we gotta play it by ear. At least, uh, you guys know what's up, where I'm going and what I'm doing. They can play, always play some music in the background, worst case scenario, right? Okay, so the next street, I gotta make a right and continue walking down for a little while. By the way, I'm walking by people's homes. I just realized that and they're, they're just, they all have their homes open so literally like this is how close I am to going inside somebody's home and that's how safe these neighborhoods are and when like how safe everything is out here that you would never dare to even have your door unlocked let alone wide open back where you work where you know back where you're from in the states or wherever the hell you're from so it's kind of like that same thing so over there is just a tire place as usual and uh yeah <laughs> hold on so what was i gonna say I, I like i like coming around here with the gopro i like walking around with the oh finally you see i got a little shade out here finally Woo! so uh yeah anyways I, I the reason i love the gopro so much is uh, it's because it's so small tight and compact and easy for me to just you know walk around with and film once I get to certain places where I can't film I can literally put it in my pocket I can take it apart have a little camera like this smaller than my uh, smaller than my uh, my actual um, actual camera or even my actual phone and uh, the quality is great the quality is amazing and it's action-packed you know meaning that if I drop this thing if I throw it up against the wall whatever the hell I do with it it's gonna be fine Look at these buildings look how, look how beautiful i don't know man to me i just love everything about the colors the architecture the streets the everything yeah i've never really been through this part of the neighborhood before i usually walk in other parts i usually don't come down this way the, the furthest i've gone is down the other street i'm gonna go south but I really don't come through here too much. So, where am I at? 54. I'm gonna get to 53, I think. So quiet. You hear a pin drop, literally. I can hear their conversation talking about me right now. <laughs> Anyways. There's another thing too about walking around with a camera, man. You know, like it actually takes balls, man. I understand. Not everybody can do this. Not everybody can point the shit at everybody. Most people are shy and scared. Most people don't even make eye contact when they're walking on their own, you know, let alone pointing this fucking thing at them. Look at that. All right. Well, I'm going to check real quick again. See where we're at. Oh, we're close. We're really close. All right, shit. That's not bad. Yeah, 15 minutes pretty good all right so okay, I gotta turn that way all right we're almost there I 
I hear water. Oh, there's water. Mm, all right, see, we got water here. I'm trying not to get wet. Oh, there it is. I see the post office. I see the colors. It's like pink and green. Yeah, the post office here is pink and green. Just like you can tell the post office back in the States, you know, like a mile away, is the red, white, and blue. Here's pink and green. Not quite sure the meaning of uh, pink and green, but... All right. Well, we're pretty much here. Well, I'm going to wait a second so I can give you a little shot of the post office, and then uh, we'll go from there. All right. So here we go. This is the mail place. This is right next to homes, right next to places. I think that's the entrance there. I think that's where I gotta go in. All right, so let's do this. All right, well, I'm on my way back home right now. Just came back from the post office and uh, the package was not there. I feel like it's a little bit my fault, you know, because I should have checked a little bit. Um, I should have checked uh, the actual mail thing before I came out here instead of just trusting somebody out there that doesn't know how to read Spanish to tell me that it's here because it's not here <laughs> so the lady showed me exactly what it was so but it's all right though it's all right at least i know where the post office is and i can come back and uh, i filmed an episode for you guys and i uh, got to walk get a little um exercise and all that good shit so it's all good it is what it is what are we gonna do but uh i'm definitely not gonna come back out here until i fucking read it myself and i know that it's here at least I got proper instructions on how to receive the package once it's here. And um, then I most likely will be able to get the package, no problem. So, it's all good. But now, what I'm going to fucking do is that, like, I'm going to, you know, pass the torch on to somebody else and have them uh, alert me. And then what I'm going to fucking do is that I'm going to make sure that... All right, damn it, I want to cross, but I got a feeling that I'm not going to be able to cross right now. You know what, I'll go down this way totally fine so yeah so anyway so I got no package no nothing but at least I got some exercise all right let me see if I can cross right now fuck it and uh, look there's like a chef school here big chef school nice and interesting and uh, we're gonna be walking towards the place now we're gonna be walking towards Parque Santa Ana, which is again, just a few blocks from my house. I love, I love coming hanging out here. So I guess you guys can check out that a little bit. So today's adventure was me trying to go get a piece of wood from the post office. And the people at the post office said that, that uh, the wood wasn't ready. That's what she said. And, uh, and that's it. So I got to walk a little bit during the morning. Get to show you guys around Monday morning. This is how it is on Monday morning, you know? And uh, my part of the neck of the woods and all that good stuff. All right. So, yeah. So, as you guys can see, this is a little bit more tourist heavy. You know, that's the bakery I was at yesterday. Um, I come out here a lot. A little newspaper stand, a little bunch of restaurants. I come in here a lot. I come in here a lot. I usually eat over there, but it's great stuff. Same cast of characters as always, you know. Little mini park. Just a few pigeons out here. And so on and so forth. So, yeah. I'm gonna walk a few more blocks. We're at the house. But, well, anyways, I guess today's episode is that um, we gotta be... We got to be um, able to handle disappointment no matter what on every level. So, you know, this morning, I, I'm not going to lie. Everything's been great. Everything's been wonderful and awesome for weeks now. And even today, this morning was great. Awesome. I got to have a conversation with my moms at a great conversation. Bunch of awesome things. Everything's just great. But then, you know, something like this happens. And it's a little bit more history than, you know, what I'm letting, leading you guys on to. Some of you guys know what's going on. And, uh, you know, I, 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 I kind of want to be a little bit more upset, but like, eh, whatever. It's all good. Nothing to really be upset about. Life is so fucking good. Life is so amazing that, 
if I get upset over this, I'm a piece of shit. Um, so, you know, here's a church. In case you guys are ever wondering. <laughs> you know, these things are open all the time. It's closed because, you know, yesterday was Holy Week. It was a Holy Week last week, Sunday. It's Monday. They, they need a day off, you know. They need a day off, too. The clergy needs a day off, so I'm guessing Monday. But actually, you come back later tonight, and that thing's open and going full blast church stuff. So that's great. If you're into Roman, if you're into Catholic uh, religion, if you're religious at all, Mexico's a place for you. All right, see, look, now we can finally got a little bit of shade. Finally. All right. So we got a little bit of shade. We got this bus right here. Not quite sure about this bus. Look, this is La Guagua. That's how we that's what we call it in Cuba. That's how we call a bus in Cuba. But this is just like a bus. I think it's uh I think it's for oh look, there you go. And it's free, I think it's free. And it just takes you around the town. You know what? Let me see. You gotta check it out. Check out the times. So I can come back. <laughs> but anyways, all these are galleries here. See look, there's galleries, galleries, there's galleries over there, there's galleries on this side. This is Calle 60, all right? Um, and all this area is just full of galleries and it's uh, you know, full of art and full of uh, exhibitions and all that shit all the time. And it's really cool, it's really awesome. So, all right guys, well, I'm, I'm, gonna, let, I'm gonna let it go here. I'm gonna stop the episode here because, um, you know, I know I've already filmed a lot earlier. But, Again, today's episode is just really more, uh, we went to go visit the, the post office. We walked around Merida for a little bit. Um, we went to the post office and found out that the package isn't here yet. You know, all this is just uh, kind of typical Mexico stuff, you know, it happens. And, uh, and then that's it. Now we're on our way back home and I got to get back to work. I got a lot of shit I got to do. So, but I feel better though. I feel a lot better, you know, being able to get some exercise in the morning, get the blood flowing and all that shit. I think I got to go further. Yeah, I'm a little distracted talking to you guys and shit. But, alright guys. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me today. Hope you guys have an amazing uh, rest of your week. And all that good stuff. Look, more art galleries. Studio. There's even more this way. And, uh... Look at that. Another one here. <laughs> Another gallery there. You see? So they're everywhere, you know? Uh, radio station over here. Another, whatever this is, another gallery. I know you probably couldn't see much in there, but look, another gallery photo studio. I live in Art Central, man. Another, oh no, that's something else. Air conditioner salesman. <laughs> Anyways, guys, all right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. Please have an awesome, awesome, amazing day. And uh, you already know, I'll see you guys tomorrow, bright and early for uh, the YouTube live stream. All right. Thanks again. Later, guys.